Welcome to the Facial Animation Pipeline with Crazy Talk tutorial. Crazy Talk 6 can be used to add great details to your iClone 4 facial animations. With the new iClone 4 Talking Script Import feature, you can quickly generate facial animations using iClone 4 puppetry and subsequently fine tune every head element using the Crazy Talk 6 Facial Timeline Editor. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate this capability by creating a rough facial animation using the iClone puppetry feature and by subsequently applying detailed facial expressions on the iClone timeline using Crazy Talk. The first step to generate facial animation in iClone is to either record your voice using the iClone recording capability or load an already recorded audio clip. Following these actions, iClone will generate a basic facial motion clip that will appear on the timeline. Let's start with an existing voice track. In order to import an already recorded voice clip, make sure your avatar is selected and go to the Animation, Facial Animation, Import Voice Panel and click Open. Browse your computer to find the recorded clip, select the file and click Open again. Once the imported clip has been processed by iClone, you will see the basic animation in action. Hey. How's it going? I've just found a new restaurant and I heard it's great. I remember you are a true gourmet, so I'd like to invite you to have dinner with me. How you about will this notice weekend? the animation track generated on the timeline. To add more life to your character, you can invoke the puppeteering panel and add basic facial expression. The results are quite impressive, but without Crazy Talk 6, you have very limited control over mouth shapes, lips, and other key facial attributes. The facial motion clips generated using the puppeteering tool or upon importing an audio track is not directly editable at the keyframe level in iClone. You can select the facial motion clip, you can stretch it, move it, replace it, but you cannot edit each keyframe. In Crazy Talk, you have immediate access to every facial keyframe on the timeline and therefore you have a much greater control over your facial animation. You can edit facial attributes in much greater details by selecting keyframes directly on the timeline and by invoking the Crazy Talk Facial Expression Editor. Consequently, with Crazy Talk, you can do keyframe level editing of facial expressions for iClone, and without Crazy Talk, you can only perform clip level editing. I will now launch Crazy Talk and show you how we can work the facial animation into greater details. In order to get visual cue during animation inside Crazy Talk, I had previously prepared a 2D Crazy Talk model of my character using the Crazy Talk face fitting feature to map a screenshot of my iClone avatar. By launching Crazy Talk directly from iClone, the audio clip is automatically imported into my Crazy Talk project. Crazy Talk 6 comes with a wide variety of emotives that can be directly applied to the timeline to better represent the mood of your character. You can try several emotives to set keyframe on the timeline until you have perfected your animation. Furthermore, you can fine-tune each emotive by double-clicking on them on the timeline to invoke the Crazy Talk Facial Expression Editor. The Facial Editor has sliders that allow you to work each facial keyframe to greater details. Crazy Talk also provides a lip syncing tool so that you can refine the lip movement of your character to the greatest details. Once you are satisfied with your facial animation, do a quick review and save your Crazy Talk script so that you can import it into iClone using the iClone 4 Talking Script Import feature. 
so I'd like to invite you to have dinner with me. How about this weekend? Give me a call. Hey, how's it going? I've just found a new restaurant, and I heard it's great. I remember you were a true gourmet, so I'd like to invite you to have dinner with me. How about this weekend? Give me a call.